Hello, welcome to the wrap-up of this Cromwell Tank Platoon, or Tank Troop project. Yeah, they're finally done. Uh, all the decals have been put on, everything's been weathered up, and I have replaced the antennas with my, uh, what I call my durable antennas. Alright, so, let's take a real quick look at the tanks themselves. I'll just kind of zoom in here on one of them. Alright. As you can see, the pattern of weathering on the tank, you know, it's its the same as I've done on the Sherman 2A, as well as the other commission. I've been going through the uh, the pictures I've got are northwest uh, France, uh, around the Cannes and F uh, Falaise uh, area. What used to, the area that basically just south of the Bocage country. And a lot of the dust patterns that I've seen on the tank photos, especially the color ones I've been able to find, is more of this overall just a general dustiness as opposed to mu actual mud. So the tank has been weathered in that fashion, just accumulation of dust. The treads have also been weathered up. Uh, no mud accumulation, just uh, dusting. Okay, very simple decals. You'll see the uh, actual uh, squadron symbol in the center, the uh, regimental division, or sorry, the regiment division badge and the regimental number to the right, and the you can see the antennas. Those are the durable ones. I'll put a link up in the corner of the video to kind of show you how to make, go about making those. They've already saved me a couple times already because uh, I've come down on top of the antennas even while I was building them and ended up, you know, I could have broken off the original ones. All right, so there's the, the back deck. That decal is from uh, Company B. They were able to provide an accurately sized 36-inch uh, star for the British, and there's the re re rear decal sets. Again, you can see the, the the rear. There's the rear decals. And you can see the uh, dust patterns accumulated a little bit more in there in the back. Right. <clears throat> there's the tool set. Everything. So my platoon is, or troop, is now done. A, an actual squadron uh, of Cromwells in the 1st Armored Division, 1st Polish Armored Division, was actually composed of four troops of three tanks each. And so this is a single troop, three tanks. Whereas the Sherman platoon, or troops, were three Sherman 5s and a Sherman Firefly. So that this is a... Full platoon or full, full troop in British Armor Division, or my Polish First Armor Division as well. All right, so that wraps up this particular project. Now we'll see what hap what comes up the queue next. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope you picked up a few tips and ideas as this project kind of uh, went forward. Whether you model in you know fantasy, sci-fi, or uh, historicals. Maybe things you picked up in these videos, uh, the way I went about it, might help you in, in your modeling. So, thanks for sticking with me. Share, share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.